Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time again for... Brayden in a car after having too much coffee! Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to our first morning commute. Now, we did a little uh, testing on what type of news stories you tend to uh, respond to the most, and I have found that people like trivia. So we're gonna add a little trivia of the day segment here uh, right off the bat. So if you would like to participate, please comment below in whatever form that you are watching this, what you think the answer is. There's no reason to uh, cheat or look up the answer. Just tell us your first guess. Uh, this is for imaginary internet points, everyone, so there's no big competition here. But without further ado, your first trivia question of the morning, and we'll, we'll say the answer on the afternoon commute. What is the national animal of Scotland? Oh, that was like somebody buzzing in right away. Anyway, the national animal of Scotland, everyone. Comment below what you think that might be. And when you get it right, because I, I believe this trivia question to be completely obvious, right? Uh, give yourself one imaginary internet point. With that, let's jump back into the segment that we've all been waiting for to come back. What day is it? Well, today just so happens to have two of the days uh, specifically for coffee. So today is National Frappe Day. Uh, so if coffee flavored milk is your thing, this is your day. And now I make fun of coffee flavored milk. I happen to also love coffee flavored milk, so don't get me wrong, it's still delicious. It is also have coffee with a cop day. Now you're gonna laugh, but I, I have had coffee with a cop and it was at a Dunkin' Donuts. So There might be a bit of a joke there that coffees or that cops love donuts, but it just so happens some of them maybe do, and that's okay. So everybody go and find a cop that you can have coffee with today because it is national have coffee with a cop day. This is, this is where the, the ridiculousness kind of of all the, the of the days comes into into play. Uh, there's also, it, it's bathtub day. I don't know how you're going to celebrate uh, bathtubs. Uh, perhaps use yours and make sure you don't smell. Uh, <laughs> there is also, uh, it is also, uh, National Random Acts of Poetry. Random Acts of Poetry Day, everyone. Everyone, so coffee, coffee's the best to imbibe, to coerce, your brain with a bribe. Don't drink the cheap stuff or fear acid reflux. In which case it turn it, it in with that now I mess it up. In which case it's Tums I prescribe. There it is, everyone. Your random acts of poetry. I mean this really could be a, an ongoing one. I, I kinda like random acts of poetry, so go out there and somehow uh, force poetry upon everyone today little update on our, our setup uh, here uh, for our little uh, vlogging podcast thing going on. Uh, there is this little tiny screw that had a spring connected to it that fits onto my gimbal. This screw is probably the most important screw I could have lost. But the other day, I look over to my right and this thing fell out, bounced, and just disappeared into the back of my car. I have searched and searched under seats. I, I mean, at this point, I feel like I have to rip the seats out of this car to try to find this little tiny screw, uh, or I'm looking for a replacement as well as an option and see things like that, where my camera goes straight up. 
are exactly why I need that screw back. Because right now, I have a zip tie replaced with what it is, and I'm not able to properly balance. <sighs> I've also got uh, some lighting going on here as an added bonus this morning. You can tell uh, it's up lighting uh, for the month of October, obviously, to uh, give that spooky uh, feeling to my face. Uh, up lighting, everyone. Uh, great for windows, not necessarily your face. Uh, let's see here. Finally, let's jump into the weather report because it is going to be quite nice the rest of the week. Uh, we're getting up into the just breaking into the 80s as a high for I believe today and tomorrow and then we're all upper 70s the rest of the week uh, into Sunday. Uh, I think we get down to about 55 tonight and that's the coolest it's going to be still upper 50s uh, 60 as a low. So weather man it's treating us all right here the first week of October we kind of had that cold snap going on but now it's kind of nice. Uh, so, you know, go out and have a bonfire or something. I, I believe fire pits were one of those things that uh, everyone went out and bought up while, while we were all stuck at home for COVID. And uh, it's quite nice, if you ask me. Um, I tried to spend most of this video in the right lane, just for you, Mr. Weedler. But we have some trucks to go around here on our morning commune, everyone. So I think with that, we should call it there. Everyone, stay safe. There it is. Stay safe, everyone. Keep your germs to yourself. We will return this afternoon after we've been caffeinated. This has been Brayden in the car after having too much coffee.